Hey everyone, we just got back from Target. It's my birthday Target haul where you get an extra 5% off with the circle birthday. I don't know, it just appears in my app, but you get 5% off in addition to everything else. There's a couple things on sale. I needed to get clothes, a couple groceries that I didn't really need. I have it all laid out. We're gonna see how this goes. I did not put it in price order because I'm trying to go fast. My kids are kind of losing it. So we'll see how this goes. I spent, it was originally $330.31. I got $16.36 off for my birthday, red car savings, another $15, and then taxes ended up being $311.87. So, you know, did I need to buy this stuff? Probably not, but I did anyway, and I'm gonna show you what I got, because I thought, are any of them cool? Maybe. One of them I was trying to find at Costco, and I found it at Target, of course. So let me flip around, I'll show you what I got. Okay, so here is a look at everything. The kids are back there sharing a snack. They're watching Disney. We'll see how long this lasts. Okay, so one of the main reasons that, oh, I'm gonna have to go pie. One of the main reasons why I wanted to go Target is I need jackets. I don't know where Paul's is. I kind of looked in the basement for his 2T1, but I never had an 18 month jacket for him because he grew so fast. And I think the 2T is just gonna be a little too snug for her. So I showed her a couple ones and this is the one she picked out. I thought there was a bright floral pattern that looked a lot cuter. This is $30. It's the Jack and Cat and it's the heavyweight puffer jacket. I do have like kind of like an in-between, I don't know what you call that, like a, like a fleece jacket for her. But I like how they do this scale. This is literally how I was finding one. This is like dead of winter jacket that I'm looking for for the kiddos. And they have this warm, warmer and warmest. So I was looking at the warmest ones. So this is hers. I did not try it on her. It's 18 months. Uh, the, it's just the one jacket and it's like fleece lined. It looked pretty long like goes over the tush when she's walking and a lot of moms were going crazy over these and I just was like I don't know I thought all little kids jackets do these this sleeve is really snug and it hugs their little hands and you can does this one flip I didn't check no but I've seen ones where it flips over and basically makes a mitten but it prevents the wind from like flowing up their little arm there so I guess it's like a pastel-y purpley pink kind of I don't like I like jackets with patterns. I feel like they stain less. But anyway, not on sale, $30. So I got that. And this is the one that Paul picked out. I almost need like a zoom out here. So Paul is a 4T, barely. So I went ahead and got him a 5T. This was $40, not on sale, all weather. Three in one jacket, also the warmest. And clearly you can see it's a dinosaur pattern. I have this on my mason jars. There's a hood to it. And then inside, I haven't figured out exactly how this works, but you can just wear the puffer jacket by itself. I'm assuming you can wear, there's like a jacket inside here, like a fleece jacket. You can wear this by itself or com a combined two to make like a really warm jacket. Both of them have pockets. What else can I tell you about this jacket? Um, zipper pockets here. It does have like cinchy kind of sleeves, but not like Tilly's. So I got him that. He picked out, I think it was foxes, a red fox one, or dinos. And of course, Paul went with the dinosaur jacket. $40, not on sale. Did I tell you that? I probably already told you that. So I was looking at, you can't even really see it. I need to get Tilly leggings. They had leggings. I thought these were so cute. It's like galaxy. There's like sparkles. Five bucks for leggings. I need to reassess what her fall attire here is in Virginia. We're just going from like short sleeves to long sleeves. So I didn't want to go crazy buying a whole bunch of leggings. I honestly don't really know what she had. I just thought these looked super cute. And it says they have a reinforced knee. I'm not really sure how. Five bucks, like I said, not on sale. Okay, I guess this is stars above. So I got myself something. It is my birthday after all, right? I have been losing a lot of weight with intermittent fasting. I don't have PJs that fit me. So I got this over the summer. Some really, it's so soft. I have no idea what this fabric is. It's probably horrific for you, but it's called stars and above. And they did have like grays and stuff, but I thought this looked so cute. Hold on, let me flare it out for you. That probably doesn't even really help, but it's uh, open on the bottom. I feel like this looks very Christmassy, doesn't it? There's a pocket. I don't know what the heck you'd use that for. Very soft. They're PJs. Did I say that? They're pajamas. And then I got the corresponding bottoms. They're jogger pajamas. I am really tall, so these are probably going to be flood pant level for me, but I don't care. I'm tall. I'm used to living in a normal size world and no pants fit me. So I got these. They were separate. $19.99 for each piece. So the shirt was $19.99 and the pants were $19.99. So, oh my God, totally scared me. $19.99 for each of them. $40 for the set. 
you know, uh, is it worth it? I don't know. I didn't have PJs. They looked super cozy. Impulse buy. It was my birthday. I had to get myself something. So $40 for PJs for me. Paul has like destroyed his socks from last year. So I went ahead and got him some new socks. I feel like these are kind of hard to find in his size. They are, you probably can't tell. They have the grippies. Paul has some socks without grippies and he will just like wipe out on our hardwood floors. So it was very important to me that they had the grippies and it's just kind of like dark patterns, stripes, non-stripes. He's worn out the heels in his, I guess they're like a year old. So I got him some new socks. Tilly's socks, I don't even know where I put them, if they're too small for her, I don't know. I got her at 12 to 24 months. They also have grippies and they're in like pinks and salmon colors. Both of them have 10 pairs and they were $9.99 each, I believe. And I'm just looking and I think she charged me twice for the leggings because I didn't get anything else Cat and Jack. I think she did. I have two $5 charges, that's fine. I'm not going all the way back there for that, so whatever <laughs> okay so here is my grocery stuff so i they didn't have this is very misleading i, I think it's called poppables is the little donut holes and these are poppets i guess they're mini donuts as you can see up there i wasn't gonna get them tilly saw them and was like "Ooh, i want those so i got them three dollars and 99 cents i got matt his matt loves these the reese's pumpkins i got some of these these were Oh no, I apologize. I got, I went ahead and got my, I almost said Easter candy, Halloween candy. So it's Mr. Good Bar Reese's and Hershey bars. These are honestly the ones that we will eat. This is a party pack snack size. How much is this bag? These are such weird sizes. It's a pound and 15 ounces. So like just shy of being two pounds, $13.29. I saw bags of candy for like $20. It just blows my mind how expensive everything is right now. Then all over the place here. Betty Crocker brownies right here. This is part of our homeschool. Paul is gonna make a treat that he enjoys making and he told me he wanted to make brownies and these were on sale. They were originally $2.59. I got them for $2.39. The Laura bars, Paul loves these. So they did have them in stock. They were not on sale. $4.79, which I feel like is comparable to Thrive. So I got the chocolate chip and I also got the brownies. Matt, Paul was very, very excited when I asked him if he wanted me to get these. I always see the GG and I'm like, what is GG? I got some good and organic apple juice. I never have juice in my house. This is part of the recipe to can apple pie filling. So I got the smallest little one I could find and that was $3.99. These are Paul's favorite. The They're like Lara Bar knockoffs or generics, the Good and Gathered brand. There are 10 of these mini little bars. There is a date and nut. So again, like the Lara date and nut bars, the cashew chocolate chip, and then just the chocolate chip cookie dough. He absolutely loves these. They were not on sale, $6.99. And Paul picked this out because he wanted to make them. So I was like, sure buddy, that's what you want. So these are the double chocolate chip cookie mix. This was $2.69. I think this used to be a buck 99 or 99 cents. They're pretty easy. The directions say you need a stick of butter, water, and an egg. So this should be pretty toddler friendly. We'll do that as part of our classroom cooking section of homeschool at some point. So Paul found these. I have seen the pita chips, I feel like, in some kind of garden herb flavor. I've never seen just the Himalayan salt. And for some reason, Paul was looking at these, asking me what they were. So I was like, hey, just get those. We'll try them out. $5.39. This box is 4.25 ounces. We like this brand. I've talked about it like a bazillion times. Their ingredients are just, you know, they're so clean. And there's really nothing that I can't pronounce, which I really, really like. And are they gluten-free? They're corn-free, grain-free, paleo-friendly, vegan. I needed some mini chocolate chips. This is the brand that I usually get from Thrive, but they have not been shipping chocolate probably because it's the summer. Oh, these are so expensive. $6.99, so I got just one bag of those. I got, I did get a big thing of Cliff Bars from Costco a while ago, but these are Paul's favorite. They're just the chocolate brownie one. So there are 12 bars on here, not on sale. Oh no, I apologize. These were on sale. Originally $10.59 and they were $9.89. So I said there's 12 bars in there. Okay, so I was excited about these. I was talking about that Costco had the Baby Bell cheese, probably still a better price. The red one, the OG, and they had these white cheddar ones, but I couldn't find them at any of my Costco's. And Target had these on sale. So they're regular $8.39. There's 14 in here. So I went and got the white cheddar one. They were, I told you what they were. Originally $8.39 on sale for $6.99. So I got the white cheddar 
And then I just thought this was cute. It's all decorated for Halloween. And what are these? Mozzarella. Uh, they're like little, I mean, it would probably be really cute for lunch boxes. They have like little monsters on them. I just thought that was so cute. Now way back over here, the Reese's pumpkins. Matt absolutely loves these. I got the jumbo bag, 16 ounce bag. They were not on sale, $6.49. And then not here, but I got one of those little fruit pouches in the grocery section for Tilly. She annihilated it already. I think it's out on the farm. It's Jennifer Gardner's company. I just grabbed one of those and give it to her as we're going from the store to the car as part of her lunch. And that was $2.79. Okay, then health and beauty. I needed a new nail file. My nail file is repulsively disgusting. Couldn't tell you how long ago I purchased it, but it's like down, it's not even gritty anymore. I needed the like finer boards. So there's two of them. Does anybody struggle to find these in the store? I was like struggling. I walked around so many times. $1.69 for two of those. Native, I love their deodorant and they had a whole bunch of stuff at Target and this was the I Need Face Wash. Gentle Cleanser Brightening Honey and ugh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sagario. It's sulfate free, paraben free. I like that company a lot. This is $9.99, but I have a feeling that it's going to last me a long time unless for some reason Matt wants to use it. I needed to get Tilly a new toothbrush because she chews on hers like a little animal. $7.99 for the little baby toothbrush. I do like these though, the Frida Baby. I have to try to look for them on sale. Can you see how like the bristles just go around like that? And they really like kind of hug the teeth. So I like these. And it has a little suction cup at the bottom and it suction cups the sink so it drains. Okay, and then we're on a mission to get Mo some new toys here. So these are the <laughs> two the kids picked out. So this is a chainsaw, haunted play ride chainsaw. And I'll pick this one out clearly. It's a little, I don't know what you call that, a skeleton pickup truck. So the first one, let's see. Actually, no, they were both on sale. $9.99 originally, and they were on sale for $8.99. So I got two of those. I'm like trying to figure out what all this stuff is. I think it's this. Hide, yeah, hide and eek. This is just a flashlight for Paul to use for Halloween. My Target only had two left. That was one of the reasons I was like, oh, I guess I need to snag one up. So Matt needs to put batteries in this. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. He um, does not like battery powered things. So this is hide and eek, $5.00. There was this green one, which I think has witches on it. I think it does different settings. I could be wrong. Maybe I just made that up. I might have just made that up. $5 for this. The kids love these Target really like thin fleece blankets. I thought I had one for the fall, but I can't find it unless it's somewhere else in my house. I don't know. But this was cute. I actually really liked they had an orange one with white pumpkins, but Paul wanted this one. And it was, oh, it's the same brand, Hide and Eek. And it was just $10, $10. They did have fleece lined ones, but this one is not fleece lined, clearly. And then I got, we like to give Mo these itty bitty treats. So they had, this was on sale, regular price $5.99 on sale for $5.39. Blue Buffalo, little boo bits. And there's a ghost, a bat, and a little pumpkin. And these ones are tasty chicken. I only have a couple more things. Oh my God, have you gotten jars from Target? I did not realize that they had ball jars for canning. And I told you I'm gonna make apple pie filling and I ran out of my quart jars. That's why I like go to wide mouth. $12.39 for those. I think that's a steal. If you try to get these on Amazon, they were like $30, something ridiculous. Then for stationery and office, I got a thank you card for our co-op leader. She's doing a fantabulous job organizing our co-ops that we meet in a park like every two weeks. So I wanted to get her an Amazon and she doesn't ask for any fees or anything. I'm going to get her an Amazon gift card and I just wanted to grab a really inexpensive thank you card. So this one was 99 cents. Oh my God. I got these mixed up. Trick or treat. They do have dollar buckets, but I got this in the dollar section and this was $3 till he liked it. I'm like 99% sure I have the dollar one from last year, the year before for Paul somewhere. I got to find it. This is for trick or treating, obviously, but it's just a little witch. She has pink hair. It's a purple bucket. So I got that. That was $3. This is a little art kit that I got by Mondo Llama. Five bucks. It's got three little wooden pieces in it and paint and a paintbrush that I can see. I don't know why they put it in like that. I really want it to be like that, right? Don't you think it should be like that? Anyway, Paul will enjoy this. $5 for that. I also snagged, I think I've mentioned a couple times, we're doing Friendsgiving. I'm doing it on Veterans Day weekend. And they have this really cute little banner and it says, Happy Friendsgiving. Ooh, there's a glare. Happy Friendsgiving. So I figure I'm going to put this on the table somehow. $5 for that. Paul got a Hot Wheels. I don't know where it is. <gasps> Remember I said the $5, she overcharged me? She didn't. This is the other Cat and Jack. I just found it. 
uh, Tilly picked it out. I don't know if she's too young for this. We'll try it. She might like the bracelet or not. So this was $5. I didn't get overcharged. This is the $5. It's a little necklace and bracelet set. I thought it was so sweet. Finally, I think she didn't charge me for both of these because I'm only seeing it on here once, right? Tilly picked these out. I don't even know who they are. So these are both Disney characters, I'm guessing. $5.99. Oh no, it, it, she did, she did, she did. $5.99 for each of these. Tilly picked them out. I was trying to... Oh yeah, is it Raja? She's from Aladdin. And this one is Pua. I don't know which one of this is from. I'll have to look it up. I have no idea. So that is my loot. Let me see your Hot Wheels. So this is, Paul, can you tell me about it? Until I explain the dog food. That is such a cool Hot Wheels. I don't know what you call this car, but this is the car he chose. I like it actually because they have a bin on the floor with all the inexpensive Hot Wheels that he can pick. Here you go, baby. Thank you. And the Hot Wheels was probably the cheapest thing I bought. A dollar, 19. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up so I know. Subscribe if you haven't. Check me out on Instagram. My handle's up here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.